I screwed up my Ender 3 Pro and the usual fix did not work, so I'm basically going to wipe the slate clean and then just kind of reinstall everything. I'm going to back up the configuration for this printer. Copy and paste. Now I'm going to log into the Raspberry Pi that's over there. There we go. We need to do this little menu thing. I think it's just the same way that it is when I last left it. And now we do the compile thing. Nope, never mind. Just kidding, there it goes. Now I copy it over to my desktop. Yes. Password. All right, there we go. It copied. Now we'll drag it on over to my printer's SD card. <laughs> Turn the printer on. Let's connect to the printer. So far, so good. Bring up the configuration and replace it. Now we shouldn't need to replace it. Paste on, save and close. Disconnected. It says it's connected, but no longer has the firmware version. Let's see if it'll do anything. Nope. That's an error. Now the firmware version is back. Let's see if it'll do something. Nope, that's an error. I'm beginning to think this is more a problem with the Pi. So we'll set up Clipper again on the OctoPi. Now, if you're at all wondering whether or not you should compile the correct version of the firmware for your printer, yes, that is advisable. What you don't want to do is accidentally compile the firmware version for the other printer. Let's try this again. As it's connected. All right, let's just go ahead and reboot the whole thing. And we're compiling again. And we're gonna give it another go. With the plug, power. Somehow this blank screen looks different. It's not, it's not, it's the same blank screen. Still nothing. Let's try with a different micro SD card. One out, one in. So this time when I went to connect, I actually got an error. And while that kind of stinks, it's different. Now I've manually set the serial port and baud rate. Come on, baby. Ah, nothing. All right, I got a pretty good feeling about this. Another error. Well, I got it. So after recompiling the firmware a bunch of times, verifying a bunch of different settings, uninstalling and reinstalling Clipper on the Raspberry Pi, changing out the SD card. I figured it out. It's not great. You see that there's another USB cable here and I know what you're thinking. Oh, the USB cable went bad and that was causing the problem. Nope. There were two USB cables down here. And every time I connected the Raspberry Pi to the printer by plugging in the USB cable, I was plugging in this end right here, which led to nowhere. Why were you saying you were connected? I guess that kind of supports what I said about modded printers before. They do weird stuff sometimes. Well, goodbye, street cred. It was nice while it lasted. I'm going to go eat all of the oranges in my refrigerator and cry.